Pre-algebra, welcome to lesson 18. We are talking about multiplying fractions and whole numbers and then how to find the fractional part of a number. So let's go straight to the examples because this is a, it's a pretty straightforward lesson. So our first example, how do we multiply fractions by whole numbers? Well, the short answer is we can't, but we can. Uh, we can't multiply a fraction by a whole number as it is, but what we can do is we can rewrite our whole number as a fraction, right? Uh, and we can use this doing our, our divisibility uh, rule of, uh, uh, what is, ah, I forgot the rule. It's not listed in this book. It's actually in the Algebra 1 book, but uh, is it the uh, division rule of identity or the multiplicative rule of identity? Uh, pretty much the way the rule works is that if I take the number 4 and I divide it by 1, what do I get? Well, I get the number 4. If I take the number 10 and I divide it by 1, I get the number 10. Uh, if I take the number 1, 10,584 and I divide it by 1, I get 10,584. Pretty much the rule that we're using is that no matter what I divide, uh, no, excuse me, no matter what no whole number I divide, if I divide it by the number 1, the answer is going to be the same number. So, and then if we remember that fractions are the same operation as division, then I can take my whole number 4 and I can divide it by 1 and it's still the same number. Wow, I just realized purple and black look the same on this camera. That's purple and then black. Maybe let's not use purple. Let's go with orange. That's more of a high contrast color. Um, there, we can see that a little bit better. So if I take four, I divide it by one. I've now written the number four as a fraction, but it's still the same number because four once is still the number of four and I can multiply. So I'm not changing the number. I'm changing how the number looks and I can multiply and get the same or get a good answer. So if I turn four into one, now I just have to do my rules for multiplying fractions. If you remember when we multiply fractions, we just multiply straight across. One times four is four. Three times one is three. My answer is four thirds. And then if I want to make that uh, proper, because right now it's an improper fraction, I convert it into a mixed number, which would just be one and one third for my final answer. All right. And that's how we multiply fractions by whole numbers. Let's do it again over here in this other example. Right now I have three fifths times the number seven, but seven is a whole number. So I can't do that, but I can turn seven into a fraction by writing it over the number one. From there, I simply multiply straight across. Three times seven is 21. Five times one is five. Now I have 21 fifths, uh, but again, that's an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and turn that into a mixed number. Five goes into 21 four times. I have one left over. So I have four and one fifth. Cool. I'm done with the first part of this lesson. Now let's go to the second part of the lesson. To do that, we need to get some example problems magically. Kapow, magic problems. All right. Some of you may be wondering how I did that. Some of you already know how I did that. And you're like, wow, Mr. Claiborne has lame jokes. Get over it. Um, so now we have to deal with word problems, uh, finding the fractional parts of a number. So I have to figure out how can I find two thirds of 30. Now in the past, some of you may have learned, hey, uh, you take the number 30, you divide by three, and then you take that answer, you multiply it by two. And that's kind of like the arithmetic way of solving it. We're going to show you a different way because one of the goals in pre-algebra is to get you to learn how to deal with fractions in a very, very efficient manner that will help prepare you for algebra. So we're not going to do the divide by the denominator, multiply by the numerator thing anymore. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to learn a quick little equation that goes like this. It's fraction times of equals is, right? So what this statement means is that if we take the fraction and we, the fraction being this number, we multiply it by the of number, then we will find our is number or we'll find out what is the answer, right? And then that'll also work on problems when we're worded this way as well. So let's go ahead and use that method really quickly. So let's take the fraction, which is two thirds. We'll multiply it by the of number, which is 30. And that will give us the answer. The problem is 30 is a whole number. So if we remember what we did in the previous problem, we're going to take 30, whoops, orange. I'm going to take 30. I'm going to turn it into a fraction by writing it over the number one. And then I can just multiply as usual. So then two times 30 is 60. Three times one is three, and then I can reduce. I might have to do a little bit of division to reduce this. So let's see here. 
How many times will 3 go into 60? 3 goes into 6 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract 0. Bring down the 0. 3 goes into 0. 0 times. And my answer is 20. So 2 thirds of 30 is 20. All right. Now let's see how can I use fraction times of equals is down here. Well, I have the fraction of 3 fourths. My of number is 15. So 3 fourths times 15. We'll find out what my number is or my is number. Does everyone see that? Great. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll take 3 fourths. We'll multiply by the number 15. Uh, but then 15 is a whole number, so I have to write it over 1 to turn it into a fraction. Uh, from there, I multiply 3 times 15. Ooh, that's a tough one. Let's do that over here. 15, whoops. 15 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 45. 45. So 3 times 15 is 45. Whoops. I know my 5s look like 6s sometimes. I'm working on it. Uh, and then 4 times 1 is 4. Now, I have to, this is improper fraction again, so I have to divide. So let's see, f whoops, no, let's use, let's go back to green, green for division. Uh, 4 goes into 45. 4 goes into 4 one time, 1 times 4 is 4, get 0, bring down the 5. 4 goes into 5, how many times does 4 go into 5? Oh, one time, 4 times 1 is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1. Oh, uh, do I go to a decimal? Or since it's a fraction, you know what? I'll just leave it as a fraction. I'll take this, I'll write it as 1 fourth. So 11 and 1 fourth, that is my final answer. All right, we'll do one more just for good measure. If you think you've got it, you can go ahead and stop the video. Uh, we'll do one last example though, if you still need a little bit of help. So let's see here, 5 sevenths of 3. My is number is 5 sevenths, my of number is 3. So I'm gonna multiply 5 sevenths times three, three is a whole number, so I gotta write it as a fraction, put it over one, five times three is 15, and seven times one is seven, 15 over seven, seven goes into 15 two times with one left over, so two and one seventh is my final answer. Well, that's all we've got for this lesson. Um, if you have any questions, let me know on the school website, and I'll see you in lesson 19.